Oh, 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 could it be? Is Hard Cena back in action doing video reviews? I mean, I mean, come on, is Mike, bro? I think I well, hopefully, but I believe I have fixed the mic and so we're back in action. Uh, Playing a cult Brazilian classic, War 3010, su sequel to the popular War uh, 2410. It takes place in this epic, what is it, epic battle zone, big planets. So coincidentally crazy, they look exactly the same except for the colors. I mean, what are the chances of that? All the landforms and everything just plowed together to be you know, exactly the same looking, but. You can see this some sort of RTS strategic type. Uh, I mean, if you advanced war, Final Fantasy tactic, uh, Fire Emblem esque kind of game. Look at these crazy spaceships just blowing green rockets at you, trying to knock you out of space. They're like battling to see who's whose planet's the true one, which one's the right color. So like they just, they just kill each other to. Look at that freaking scorpion beast. You don't see that in movies. Only in the world of Super NES gaming. So yeah, I mean, it's pretty, pretty standard. I think every level is just exactly the same. Like some stars and two planets. They, they, they like mix the planets up though. Like they put one planet down there, then the other up there. So here, here I am exploding into a pool of blood. It's, pr it's a pretty graphic game. Not... Not meant for the children. Let's see, how do you attack on this? I think it's this button. Yeah, it's like you get this sweet targeting system. I can like shoot guys five miles away from me. And hopefully they won't be able to shoot back. So you get this crazy first person view. Got all type of buttons like <laughs> launch your rockets and they launch their greens and Yeah, this is just this is just terrible. <laughs> Seriously, don't bother. It's like the most generic standard whatever you type of games you call these. Um, it's playable though, so I'll give it a 0 0.19 out of possible score of 10. So this is, um, Howard C. Neal signing off after a very long hiatus. So hopefully this, I mean, I don't, I'm not even sure if, if this review is going to go up. I'm not sure what the sound quality is going to be or anything, but yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. So, goodbye.